Now, the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations wants President Ekufuado to as a matter of agency inaugurates the governing board of a national council on persons with disability as any further delays would seriously derail the progress made so far in the disability sector. According to the Federation, the delay in the commencement of operations of a board has impacted negatively on the efforts of the council and stakeholders in taking major decisions aimed at promoting inclusion and effective participation of persons with disabilities. Joining me via Zoom now is Kwame Mensah. He is the Programs Officer of the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations. Thank you, Kwame, for joining us. Now, you say in your statement, for example, that the absence of a board is affecting the running of the organization. And I'm asking, what are some of the practical things that the Federation would have loved to be doing which has been impacted because of the absence of a board? Thank you for having me. I, I, one of the critical things that um, the non-existence of a board for the National Council on Persons with Disability is the inability of the Secretariat of the Council in pushing forward um, recommendations for the amendment of the Disability Act at 715, which for various reasons all stakeholders had agreed that we need to do a review of the act to incorporate um, certain provisions that were were not considered when drafting those acts and and which had been considered in the national in the convention on the right of persons with disability which ghana is a party to um the non of the board had also impacted place in pushing for the development of a legislative instrument to operationalize the act. Because okay. of the lack of the legislative instrument, most of the provisions that were um, listed in, in the Act 715 is very difficult to operationalize it. So um, stakeholders that develop or propose um, an airline which will help operationalize this this act but as at now because of the of the non-existence of the act all effort that we we had undertaken with the previous um, board had now been stopped because the council cannot push forward with those um, 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 suggestions or those documents for a review and the development of an, an airline okay and, and with this call you're making now if touch wood in the foreseeable future that isn't materializing that you do not have the board in place what are the options available to the federation for example um i, I think we have on a number of occasions spoken with with the council and which we have worked into understand that this is beyond the, the council which means that, that we need to go to the ministry we've already um spoken with with the ministry which in those days, they promised us that with, with the coming into force of a substantive minister, the issue will be dealt with, with within um, no time. Because, But we have also realized that since the coming into office of the minister, very little has been done in terms of the integration. Um, we're calling on the government that they should, as a matter of agency, if government is not ready to integrate all the, any of the votes, but that for the uh, persons with disability council okay. is very needed because we need to push on a number of things. We need to do a number of activities and ensure that the promotion of persons with the, the promotion of welfare of persons with disability is is really adhered and held high in high esteem. 